This question is unique paths too. It was requested. Uh, so this one's for you, Midilesh. A robot is located at the top left corner of an M times N grid. The robot can only move down or right at any point in time, and it's trying to reach the bottom right corner. Now consider if there are some obstacles added to the grids. How many unique paths are there? So that's really the only difference. We are given a grid like this, and it's going to tell us that ones mean there's like some sort of obstacle blocking the robot from passing. So it can't go right or it can't go down to that path. So how can we solve this then? Well, the approach is actually the same. We can still use a DP solution. It's just that now we need to account for this obstacle. Make sure that when we find this obstacle here, we no longer calculate a path there. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is calculate our base numbers, right? And here, if we had a DP array, it would all be ones on the first row and all ones on the first column. But if there's an obstacle here, say there was an obstacle here, then the number of paths there should be zero, right? There can't be any path there. And on top of that, there can't be any path underneath that either. All the rest should be zeros as well. Same with up here, if there was like a one here, uh, that means that this would have to be zero and this would have to be zero. And after that, really the only thing is to account for those zero numbers and still sum up the cell on top and the cell to the left. Only difference being if there is an obstacle there, then we make that a zero and we just continue our algorithm. And that's really the only difference. So let's first initialize some variables. We'll have m, which is going to be the length of obstacle grid. And we'll have n, which is going to be the length of obstacle grid first array. So this, these are the columns, essentially. Now we want to have a dp array, right? And the dp, it's just going to be a list of lists. So say for the columns, it'll be 0 for in range of n. And we want a list for each one for whatever in range of m. So great, now we have our uh, dp array. And we want to first calculate the first row and the first column. So keep in mind that this obstacle grid is going to be what allows us to know if we should stop. So we're going to build these up. Say we'll start with one, um, you know, one, one. But just check every single time to see if there's a one here. And if there is, since all of these are already zeros, we'll just break break there and say that this was like, a, if this had a one in here, this would actually be zero. And everything to the right of it would also be a zero. So for, let's say the columns, uh, we'll say for mm, C in range of, uh, let's see, N. What are we going to do? We'll say if obstacle grid, I'm going to copy paste that. If the first one, C equals one, then we'll just break our loop. We'll just break out of it. Otherwise, we'll make it a one, just like before. Just say zero and C, make it equal to one. And all of them should be ones, right? Because there's only one distinct path there. Now we'll do the same thing with the first column. We'll say if the first column zero equals one, we break it. Otherwise, just make r zero equal to one. So now we'll have, in like in this example, all these would be the same. It would just be all one, 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 like this. This wouldn't be zero. But keep in mind there was an obstacle there, right? A one. So uh, this accounts. For, this if statement makes sure that it's going to be kept at zero if there's an obstacle there, because afterward, we don't care. If the, even if there was more obstacles, like the result is the same, it'll all be zeros anyway, since the robot can only go right or going down. Now it's the typical way of just going for row and uh, let's see, range of uh, M and column and range of N and make sure we go from the second element since we've already calculated the first row and first column. And we'll check, all right, DP, or not DP, obstacle grid, RC, if you're equal to one, well, make this DP RC equal to zero because there's no way to get there. There's an obstacle there, so you can't get, get there, right? Otherwise, we just do the same exact thing. We say just it's the sum of whatever came above it. and whatever came to its right. 
After that, we just return our DP, the bottom right corner. And that's actually it. It's a little more simpler than you would think. So looks like that's working. Let's go and submit that. And there we go. So nothing to it. It's just a little bit of, you know, uh, intuition and just experimentation to figure out, oh, it's really the same algorithm. Just we need to account for all these zeros and make sure that if, especially on the first row and first column, if there's a one, we have to make sure everything else that comes after is also a zero. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.